Usain Bolt holds the title as the world's fastest man. After winning six Olympic gold medals and setting numerous world records, the man seems literally untouchable. But how does Usain Bolt stack up against the NFL's fastest players? Well, to address this question, we first must decide who the fastest NFL stars are. One common misconception about sprinting is quickness and speed. Quickness is moving rapidly from point A to point B. Speed is the rate at which an individual can move from point A to point B. For example, if an athlete is quick, he is able to reach top speed much faster than an athlete who is fast. However, although a fast athlete takes longer than a quick athlete to reach top speed, a fast athlete has a higher top speed than a quick athlete. A good example of this is a comparison between Usain Bolt and Adrian Peterson of the Minnesota Vikings. While Peterson can reach his max speed of 25.9 miles per hour in just 3 seconds, Bolt takes 5 seconds to reach his max speed of nearly 28 miles per hour. So now that we know exactly what fast is, we can decide if the NFL's fastest can beat Bolt. First off, Chris Johnson of the Tennessee Titans. Johnson is known for his blazing 40 time of 4.24 seconds, the fastest 40 ever recorded in the NFL Combine. Johnson is a mixture of speed and quickness. Johnson's best time in the 100 meters was back in 2004 when he ran a 10.38 as a 19 year old. It's hard to tell how much faster Johnson has got, but it's safe to say he is faster now than he was then. However, the fact that his personal best in the 100 is almost an entire second slower than Bolt's, it's safe to say that Johnson is not faster than Bolt. Next up, Deshaun Jackson. Jackson is an explosive return specialist for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jackson has the ability to race past defenders and can outrun just about anyone in the open field. Although Jackson has no official 100 meter time, it is said that he's posted a 10.3 second 100. But again, the time does not stand a chance against Bolt. Next we have Devin Hester of the Chicago Bears. Hester is known for his ability to find holes in the defense and blast through them with lightning quick speed. Hester's best time in the 100 was a 10.42 while in college. Although Hester has gained a significant amount of speed since he was drafted in 2006, Hester's speed just doesn't match up with Bolt. Next on this list of speedsters, Jacoby Ford of the Oakland Raiders. In college, Ford was known for his track speed. In 2009, Ford was the NCAA national champion in the 60 meter and runner up in the 100 meter. Ford has posted a blistering time of 10.01 seconds in the 100 meter dash. However, due to his extensive training in track and field, Ford is more than likely tapped into most of his speed. Next up, we have a speedster from LSU, Trenton Holiday. Holiday is currently a return specialist for the Denver Broncos. Holiday is known for his ability to burn defenders on kick returns. He has an extensive career in track and field and has posted an impressive 10 flat, which led him to an NCAA national championship in 2009. Holiday is fast enough to run for the Olympic team, but to say he can beat Bolt is a stretch for even this Bronco. Last but not least, Jeff Demps of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Demps has the largest track and field resume of anyone on this list, or in the NFL for that matter. Demps exploded on the track and field scene in 2008 when he set a new national record for a high school sprinter running a massive 10.01 seconds. Demps continued his track and field career winning numerous NCAA titles in sprints and most recently earning a silver medal as a member of the 4x100 USA Olympic team in London. Demps' personal best in the 100 meter is a ridiculous 9.96 seconds, the fastest of any NFL player in the league today. Although not the biggest NFL superstar, Demps is the fastest. That's right, Jeff Demps is the fastest man in the NFL. So how does this match up with Usain Bolt? Before I begin, I must remind you that these results are based off of each sprinter's personal best. In a 100 meter race, 10 meters into the race, Demps would be ahead due to his lower center of gravity which allows him to explode from the low starting position. About 40 meters into the race, Bolt would begin to get into his stride. Since Usain is 6 feet 5 inches tall, this allows him to elongate his strides and really use his stride length to his advantage. After about 60 meters, Demps and Bolt will have reached their full speed and this is where Bolt pulls away and really gets into his extra gear that is unparalleled in the world of sprints. In the end, Bolt will win but not by nearly as much as you may believe. According to their times, Bold would win by a mere 38 hundredths of a second. That's less than three meters. So can anyone in the NFL beat Usain Bolt in a 100 meter sprint? Quite simply, no. Usain Bolt was built for sprinting.